What up, players? Warboss Tay up in this mug. You might recognize this guy from my latest video, How to Paint an Ogre. I'm actually uh, showing him to you because I forgot to tell you my time at the end of the last video, which was, oops, just over an hour, 61 minutes, 40 seconds. So um, that's how long it took me to paint him. And uh, while I was doing the War Boss tutorial, obviously, if I want to do a little bit less detail, then you know it'll take a little bit less time. But I think this is a good tabletop standard, so I wouldn't mind painting all of my ogres up to this standard. Um, just you know, batch painting more. But um, the reason I'm making this video is because today's update is to show you what I've been painting for my ogre unit, and it is my standard bearer for my my bulls which are not bulls anymore. So uh, I gave him just about the same treatment, gave him the blue pants with the um, the red lip, the dark circles under his eyes. This guy's got a top knot though, glued to his head. Gave him the same kind of base work to match with the rest of the army. He had a barrel on his back and a knife there, and the tattoo is on the right side of his chest. Also wanted to show you the standard it is the Talapheim Greatsword Standard, which I copied first by just kind of looking at the design on the Games Workshop website and on the um, for the Great Swords, and then re um, just copying it and retracing it, or not tracing it, but copying it and using a uh, micro pen, the black micro pen, to kind of draw it out and then color in. So um, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks pretty close to what the Games Workshop standard looks like. And um, I think it's look gonna look pretty good in the unit. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. And um, uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, what else? Oh yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, just wanted to point out General Splatton left an awesome shout out to me on his latest video. And so just wanted to say thank you Splatton for for, for the shout out and um, really means a lot to me and um, I was super stoked when I saw it so thank you so much and uh, to all of you out there who are uh, painting and uh, thinking about starting a new army um, the ogres have been sitting kind of you know in my corner for a long time and I just wasn't really happy with the original paint scheme I thought they looked too alien and gray green so um, I thought, you know, just, you know, why not, what the heck, I'll take it out and give them a try. And now I'm really happy with it, so, you know, you never know how you're going to like something until you start painting it. Sometimes the new, the new plastic smell is gone by the time you get home and you've got your new purchase and you're like, why did I buy this? But, um, you never know. So, so take out an old model that you haven't thought to paint and uh, get some paint on them and you might be surprised with what you come up with. The reason I decided to do this standard, what I was actually going to do was have um, paint the standard up to this quality and then actually put like um, the, the Great Maw, like they had daubed uh, graffiti all over the, the woman's head. Um, but then I thought, you know, it would kind of obscure the work. So I decided I'm just going to leave it like this and just make like they captured the standard and now they're just carrying it with them. And I think it kind of works with the, with the flesh tones the way they are now because um, I might think of making these, the fluff for this tribe, like a tribe of ogres that kind of wandered into the empire and has almost been fighting like as a mercenary group for the the empire's armies so maybe I'll paint some of them with like uh, a hint or, or a nod to the empire state trooper uniform maybe like with quartered or not quartered but like half of their trouser leg red and the other one white or um, maybe gluing on some some empire accessories to their figures but let me know what you think I think it might be a fun fluffy little idea and they're based in almost pretty much the same way as my empire troops are so it wouldn't look too out of place but um, just thought it would be fun to paint up this standard and um, I, I did magnetize the top for the for the lookout knoblar but I haven't painted that yet so um, that should be coming out next but this is all I got done today this took me a lot of time I was planning to actually b batch paint a bunch of these ogres to go with the first guy that I painted up for the how to paint an ogre war boss tutorial but all I got was the standard bearer because once I got started I really wanted to finish it to a good quality so I could feel like I got something accomplished today. You know how that goes. So 
Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to like before you leave. Leave me a comment. And oh, also I started a blog. It's uh, warbosstay at blogspot.com. So it's, you know, it's, I just made it today. It's really new. It, does, it only has like one post on it, but I'm planning to put up pictures, work in progress stuff, and um, you know, all the good stuff that you see on a lot of the blogs today. So um, follow me there, follow me here. Um, check out General Splatten if you are not subscribed to him yet. He's totally awesome. One of the great contributors to our community. Really helpful. And um, thanks again to him for, for giving me a little shout out in his last video. Alright, latest players.